OK, so in this video, we're going to go through an example of working with a cumulative distribution function. So in this time, we've got this f of x is equal to x plus k over 10. So rather than having the probability distribution, we've got the cumulative distribution. And the first thing that we need to do is find the value of k. Now, because the cumulative dif distribution, um, the last value that would be in its table, in its tabular form, has to be 1, that means that this final value, when x is 3, f of 3 must be 1. So f of 3 must be 1, because by that point, all the properties have been added together. And so that means that 3, so when x is 3, plus k over 10 must be equal to 1. So that is what we can read directly from uh, the information we have. So we can multiply both sides by 10, take 3 from both sides, and so k would have to be 7. So then if I want to draw the distribution table for the cumulative distribution function, then what I have is a set of x's, so 1, 2, 3, and f of x, OK? So we know that this has got to be 1, OK? Now, when x is 2, I'm going to have 2 plus 7 over 10, so 9 over 10. And when x is 1, I'm going to have 1 plus 7 over 10. So that must mean I have 8 over 10. OK? So then, if I want to write down uh, f of 2.1, well, that is the same as the probability of x being less than or equal to 2.1. Now, x can't take on 2.1. But it could take on 1 or 2, which, is both, which are both less than 2.1. So that means that f of 2.1 is just 9 tenths. If these were individual probabilities for each of these, then it would be that one plus that one. But clearly, that can't be the case. So remember, two, f of 2.1 here is the same as f of 2. You get precisely the same value. So for d, find the probability distribution of x. Well. If we add in a third row, okay, then I know that if f of 1 is 8 tenths, that's less than or equal to 1. There's nothing else that it could be. So that means that the probability of 1 has got to be 8 tenths. Now, we know that these are cumulative. So 8 tenths plus whatever that probability is must be 9 tenths. So that's got to be 1 tenth. And 9 tenths plus this probability have got to be 1. So that's 1 tenth also. And so there is your probability distribution of x uh, brought back from the cumulative distribution.